the strategy we used was uh, we knew that our, our product where we are based was it was going to target the up market mm -hmm. and the middle right. upper market class mm -hmm. so but the pricing was good we had to ensure that customers as they come in they also entertained it's not only drinking and also we promote responsible drinking where we promote uh, water uh, we have a very big restaurant so there's food uh, to ensure that the customers drink responsibly all right yeah. and so the restaurant complements the drink or uh, it's the other way around yeah the restaurant complements the drinking yeah all right but it's not only beer we serve we mm -hmm. serve other products mm -hmm. uh, including the competitors products spirits and wines okay. as well yeah all right so you talked about the regulations uh, yeah. surrounding the brewery itself. Mm -hmm. Do you think they have been friendly, especially knowing that the Ke Kenya Revenue Authority uh, the past few months has really been coming hard on breweries and those of them dealing in alcoholic drinks on excess duty. Um, do you think that the government regulations have been friendly to civil brewery? In a way, I think uh, the government has been uh, it's commendable what they have done because we have some people in the market outside there especially making the illegal spirits mm -hmm. which are actually bad for the consumer mm -hmm. that has been a very positive issue uh, and we support that the mainstream manufacturers do observe the proper way of manufacturing uh, they have all their own processes mm -hmm. but we have seen some people they mix all different types of chemicals to make their products more potent which is completely wrong right others even add formaldehyde which is not allowed methanol all those other my, uh, chemicals into mm -hmm. the product yeah. so we as someone who has this wealth of experience yes. with working with breweries um how different is several itself from the rest of the other breweries that we have across kenya yeah what we pride ourselves in is that uh, we are a small brewery so we look after the product very carefully mm -hmm. like i mentioned there earlier we take 14 days to make the products our products are made with German standards. Mm -hmm. This is the line that we bought. And we only use malt, water, mm -hmm. hops, and yeast. Four ingredients. We don't add anything else into the product. Malt, water, yeast, yeast. and hops. Okay. Yeah. All Those right. are the only four ingredients we use. Mm -hmm. And we ensure that they go through the process the way they're supposed to. It's highly automated for 14 days before the product is ready to be served to the consumer. Are you at a point where you can say the business mm. has been successful so far? I think so because the reception we have had is quite good. At the moment, we have had inquiries from uh, Nairobi especially. We are supplying beer to cut an area, mm -hmm. uh, some very up market restaurants like Paddy Arms, mm -hmm. uh, Talisman we were there. Mm -hmm. We are also in Westlands, the CBD, and the restaurant in Ogai, uh, the bench. Mm -hmm. So the demand is there, but our capacity is limited, mm -hmm. so we can only do so much. All right, so yes. are you thinking of expanding it across the country and taking it even beyond uh, Kenya? Well, mm, uh, if I can just look at Kenya alone, f there's a big market here mm -hmm. because what we are seeing is that people uh, admire this type of niche product. It's a different concept, a different taste, different uh, color, everything. What we see in the near future is to expand to uh, areas within Kenya, like Kisumu, Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we have been looking at it mm -hmm. and that will be the first thing we do but before we go there we want to make sure that our capacity at survey brewery is utilized a hundred percent before we venture to new investments all right what's yeah. the percentage of alcohol content in this beer ours is a uh, it values mm -hmm. uh, the lowest is 4.2 mm -hmm. and the highest is 6.2 the 6.2 is uh, a badia ale mm -hmm. the strongest very distinct in terms of taste and flavor. Okay. Yes. And the other is 4.2? Yeah, 4.2, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so for anybody out there who um, is trying to start up a business yeah. and transform this country and make it more uh, economically attractive, mm -hmm. what are some of the things you would want them to know? I think one thing is, uh, right at the start, you have to come up with a project. You have to do the proper budgeting. Mm -hmm. I know most of the projects fail in initial stages because we don't have enough funds. Mm -hmm. You have to set up a team to run the project after it's completed. You have to have people who are competent in running the operation. Mm -hmm. And of course, you have to obey the government regulations. Uh, the other thing I would also uh, be looking at is to set up SOPs, standard, standard 
operating procedures mm -hmm. so that even if you are not there the director or any other senior person the system can run without you being oh, there so yeah all right well mm. thank you so much uh, we do appreciate the time taken thank you, and uh, mm. hoping that the brand can even grow more mm. uh, beyond kenya yeah. i know that kenya is a huge market but uh, wishing you all the best in uh, selling the brand of Seville brewery thank you so much for thank joining you, us yeah all right, we've been speaking to Charles Njogo, who is the founder for uh, Seville Brewery here in Kenya. And uh, he says, well, starting a business, you have to set up your project quite very well and also uh, make sure you have the right budgeting and uh, have competent, competent people working on this uh, brand of yours. So we'll now take a short break. You're watching Business Today, but still to come, we're going to be speaking financial reporting. And you know, of late, there have been a number of corporate companies that are struggling. Yeah, we can talk about Kenya Airways, Momia's Sugar Company, and a whole lot of other companies that have been put under receivership, like Imperial Bank. What exactly is going wrong? Uh, do stay with us for that conversation.